Hi guys, welcome to another Channel Value Maths tutorial. Uh, Mr. Gordon here. We're going to be looking at the AQA Level 3 Certificate in Mathematical Studies, or better known to us as Core Maths. We're going to be looking at Paper 1, and we're going to have a look at the Student Loans question, uh, question 6. And it says at the top, um, straight away, that we need to use the preliminary material at some point during this question. So I have that to hand. Um, Let's have a look at how it starts. So it says Camilla, um, Camilla started a three-year course at university in September 2012. At the start of the year, um, she receives a loan from the student loans company to cover her tuition fees of £9,000 a year and living costs of 48000 sorry, 48000 that would be expensive, £4,800 per year. Um, so part A, it's asking us... Um, Circle the multiplier that represents an increase of 5.5%. So if you ever want to work out a percentage as a decimal, then you're going to have to divide it by 100. Okay, so we can do that on the calculator. We bring that up and we can put in 5.5 um, divided by 100. Too many zeros. Gives us... Uh, 0.055. So that's just the 5.5%. Now if we want to increase something as well, we need to bring back the original amount as well as the 0.055. So, and if you want to get an original amount, then you just have to times it by 1. So we've got 1 plus 0.055 for the percentage, in, uh, percentage interest rate. Add those together, and you can clearly see that the option we need is 1.055. Um, part B, calculate the amount Camilla owed the student loan company at the end of her course. So she's there for three years, I believe the question says. Three years, and every year she pays £9,000 per year, and she needs 4800 to live on. So let's work out how much she needs for year one. So, tuition fees. Everyone has to pay these rather expensive tuition fees, £9,000, and living costs for the year, a more modest £4,800. Okay, so let's work out how much is that in total. So, 9000 for tuition fees, plus the 4800 living costs. Add those up on the calculator. Use the calculator, it's a calculator paper. We can make some silly mistakes if we don't. Total is 13,800. Okay, and we need to apply the interest. So at the end of the year, that's how much we owe. Then the student loan company come along and they want to put on their, their interest. So they're going to times it by the 1.055. Okay, so how much do we owe in total? Let's times it by are 1.055, too many fives, put that in, and you can see at the start of year two, we owe 14,559, excuse the computer, it's playing up today, before we even start to borrow any more money, so let's write that down, year two, we owe, um, what did we say it was from the year one? It was £14,559 has been carried forward from year one, plus our tuition fees for the year, another £9,000, plus our living costs again, £4,800. Work out how much that is on the calculator. So add on tuition fees for the year, too many zeros. And the living costs. Put those together and we get £28,359. So that's our total. Let's apply the interest that the student loan company want to put on that. So let's times by 1.055. Again, too many fives. Equals. So we have the total that we need to carry forward into year three. It's going to be. £29,918, and we're going to round that up to 75p. 
So, year three. Let me just add on for notation purposes. So, don't forget to add that up, add that all up for year two and times it by 1.055. And then that answer, the money we owe from year two, we carry into year three. So, we start off by owing um, 29,000. Nine hundred and eighteen pounds seventy five pence before we've even started to borrow any more money. And again, for year three, we need to borrow nine thousand pounds for our tuition fees, another four thousand eight hundred for our living costs, add that all together, and then up the bank, the student loan company, I should say, will put on our final interest, and that will give us our total. So calculator, we've got um, what we're carrying forward from year two already on the calculator. Add on some tuition fees, so 9,000, watch the zeros this time, that's fine. And so living costs, 4,800, too many zeros, take those off. Total, before they put the interest on, is 43,718 pounds. Just going to make a note of that down here, so the total before the interest is applied is um, 43,718 pounds, 75p, they won't let you off a penny, so include those, and obviously we need to times that by the one, the interest multiplier, so still need to do this, I haven't done that yet. So for the grand total, final bit of interest for year three, too many fives, calculator's playing up. We have our answer, so this is the total amount and we should quote that number for the answer for this question, part of the question. Okay, so let's move on to part C. Part C, we're looking at Camilla's first job has an annual salary of £43,000, a very nice salary to start off with. It gets paid monthly. Um, she begins repaying her student loan at the end of the first month after she starts her job. Work out how much she's going to pay um, for the student loan at, at, on a, uh, at the first month. So she's paying it monthly. So we've kind of got to work out how much of her income for the year is going to go to the student loan payments and then divide that by 12. So let's have a look. What um, payment plan is she on? When does she start this job? So she is um, at university in September 2012. So if we look at the repayment plans on our preliminary material, we can see that if you started your course after September 2012, which she did, you're on repayment, repayment plan number two. So let's have a look. You only start making repayments when your gross income is over the threshold of 21,000. Now we know that she is earning 43,000. So she's definitely over that amount. Anything over that, she pays 9%. Okay, so let's go back and work out how much she's going to pay. So we said she starts off the year earning 43,000, anything over 21,000, so we'll take the 21,000 off, see what we are left with. Again, you could do this in your head, just grab the calculator, no mistakes, make sure that we enter everything correctly, don't put too many zeros in like I like to do, and then you will find, here we go again, it equals £22,000. So, this is the amount that is eligible to be almost taxed, if you like, for the student loan repayments. So, what was the that rate that we had to pay it back at? Can anyone remember? 9%. So, 9% of that amount. Multipliers again. What is the percentage multiplier for uh, 9%? The decimal multiplier, I should say. Well, we divide 9 by 100 and you will get 0.09. Alright, so put that into your calculator. 
times that by 0.09. We're not trying to add 9% on, so we don't worry about the 1. We just want to know what 9% is, and that will do it for us. So this is the amount that um, she will be paying over the course of the year, because we're still working with her salary. So that 1980. And if we divide that by 12 to get the monthly rate, divide that by 12, then we'll get an answer of £165. So we took the 1980, £1,980, divide it by 12, and that gives you £165 to pay at the end of the month. I hope that helps, guys. Have fun revising. Good luck in the exam.